Hey there everybody and welcome to this video about Cypress and how we can use it to do integration tests on our web applications. The goal of this video is primarily to get you up and running fast with Cypress and see how we can install it and make a simple test case to test a web application. And I have a really simple login form that is composed in PHP and if we go and take a look at this uh, we have a rather simple login form and uh, it consists of a username and a password and a submit button. Then we have some fairly easy, fairly simple uh, PHP code that checks uh, if the username and password is, um, and that's a hard coded solution here. Uh, it's not connected to a database, but it is checking if you type in the correct password and it's going to redirect you to a secret area if you uh, so to speak and otherwise it's going to report that you wrote uh, the wrong username and password but the first thing we need to do is that we need to uh, install Cypress and we use NPM we can use NPM for that you can also use yarn to do that but uh, I'm using NPM so if you don't have this already you need to install Node.js, and that comes in, uh, there are installers for all the major operating systems. And I already have this right now, but otherwise you're just gonna take the installer for your operating system and install that. So when you have a node, let's go back to our, and we need the terminal here, and then we're gonna do npm install Cypress. And it might take a few minutes or so, depending on the speed of your computer. So I'm just gonna be back when it's done. All right, so now we're back here and uh, Cypress has been installed and we can see that it has generated a node modules directory up here in our project. And the next thing we need to do is that we need to create the scaffolding that will generate uh, directories for the tests and some examples also among others. And the way we do this is that we execute a node modules, go into the bin directory of Cypress and we execute Cypress open. That will generate the scaffolding as I told you before and also open up the test runner that will allow us to execute these tests. And this might also take a few minutes to do that. But when it's done, it should open up uh, a new window for you. All right, so now it's uh, we have the Cypress test runner. We can also see that up here in our project that we now have a Cypress directory with uh, a couple of uh, directories with fixtures, integration. And this is primarily where we have the tests. And there is a whole bunch of examples that we can glimpse through, we can read them, how they work, and see the different commands that you can execute. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of things to get inspired by. But we're gonna collapse that, and let's write our own test case for this. Close this guy there. So what are we gonna test? Well, I can think of two easy tests to do here. What if we test uh, if you log in successfully and you log in with the wrong username and password? That should be something that is obvious when you test an application, that you test both the valid and the invalid login. And the way we do this in Cypress is that we make a new file inside of integration and there are JavaScript files, so we can name it login and then spec.js. So this is the naming for a test case in Cypress. And then we type some JavaScript code. So in here we can write the different uh, test cases that we want. We can have multiple test cases and I'm just gonna do the first here that is the successful login. And the first thing we want to do is we wanna go and visit the URL. Then we should input so we input username and password and valid password and then click the submit button and assert that 
we are at okay that was a funny word there <laughs> okay so the final thing is that we are going to assert that we are the correct url meaning that if i log in successful with the user and one two three four it's going to redirect me to the secret of PHP. This could be anything else. We could, we could redirect to another page. We could set the session variable. We could do anything. So we, we're going to do these four steps to make a basic successful login here. So the first thing, visit the URL. We have this Cypress object that we can execute a whole bunch of cool commands to. So we have visit, and then we're going to input our, we're going to take the login URL here, localhost, because I'm running on a local web server. So that's the first part here. It's going to visit the site. Then we're going to input a, um, a username. And this is done by typing input. Whoop. A username here. And type something in here. So we can type user. And just really briefly here, uh, we can I have named these input fields with the name and ID, username and password. So that refers to the username here. Okay, so that's the first one. And we also need the password. So that should be one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna click on the submit button. And again, we're gonna get some object, and that is the button here. And we're gonna get the button that will contain submit, if you have several buttons in your form. And we're gonna execute click. So we're simulating that, uh, or Cypress is gonna simulate that the user click on, on the submit button. And finally, when we're done here, we need to monitor see here and we need to monitor what happens when we click the submit button are we going to re be re redirected to the secret.php or are we sent back to the start page and the way we can do this is that we will yep so we're going to take the We're going to take the secret.php. So we visit the URL, we input the valid username and password, and we click the submit button. And it's going to check if it has the submit as specified in the HTML definition here, submit. And then we're going to check what happened when we click it. Is it going to redirect us to secret, meaning that it is a valid or not? So let's go back to our test runner and we're going to collapse these examples here. Click login. And then Cypress is going to launch Chrome and remote control it and launch the test case here. And we can see here that it is actually running. It is run, running the test case now and it is trying to execute the web application, inputting the variables. And we can see typed in user as the username and password 1234 click submit button and asserted that we are in fact redirected to the secret.php okay so that was a simple test here um, now it's really easy to if we should take the other way around do the reverse test here we can put another one name it failed login and the only difference here uh, more or less is that we provide a false username or password and then it's gonna it's just gonna send us back to the to the login form and right away actually without me doing anything Cypress is gonna detect that we created this fail login and it executed it and we can see that it yeah, we just executed again and it's gonna do the successful that's good it's gonna do the failed and asserted that we were indeed sent back to the to the login form, right? So that's basically what I wanted to tell you guys here, a short introduction to integration test with Cypress. All right, have fun with us. Bye-bye.